and they had to cancel the games this weekend. All right, so UIC controls the tip, and we're underway. They'll have the first possession. White State's man-to-man -man defense. I would imagine UIC will try to uh, be very patient tonight, run the shot clock down, shorten the game. Here's Griffin at the elbow, cut off by Finke. A hail at the free throw line, picks up his dribble. Back it goes to Griffin. Griffin one on one against Finke. Had the ball stripped away, it's loose in the paint. Ball flipped back out. Six on the shot clock, the three is good from Scoball. Yeah, Scoball, he's, he's uh, their second or third best three point shooter. He's made 15 on the season, actually 12 on the season, but he's shooting close to 40% out there. So that was just a loose ball, he picked it up and didn't have any time to do anything, he just shot it. Inside against Battle, it's Basili. He flips it into the corner to Finke. Finke, shot fake, goes up with a three, gets his own rebound on the baseline. No look pass, had it stolen away by Battle. And back come the Flames. They won two games away from home this year. Their last win on the road coming against Central Michigan. Nice pass inside. Here's Johnson with a little floater. And it's now a 5 0 Flames advantage. Yeah, not playing like a team that hasn't played in 18 days. They're off to a great start, two for two from the field. Here's Basili open from three, and it's too short. And the rebound to Scoball. Johnson will bring up the floor, averaging six assists per game. Transfer from Nichols State. Working against the right state man to man defense. We played a minute and a half. It's 5 0 Flames. Hale taking it strong in the basket. It's blocked by Braun. Ball tipped over to Calvin. Back come the Raiders. Well, Hale's a guy you got to get out on, and Tanner Holden got it right out on him and uh, it made him put it on the floor, which is what you want to do. Here's a skip pass inside to Calvin. He loses his balance and loses the ball out of bounds. So a turnover, right state. 5 0 Flames, and there's the second year head coach for the Flames. Yeah, we talked about him. He's in his second year, and uh, <laughs> he's, he's really up against it tonight with two of his starters out. Uh, but he's got his team off to a decent start. They're, they're, uh, uh, they've won their last two road games. Kevin Johnson, the point guard. Nice pass inside the battle. Who gets it to go? A 7 to nothing Flames advantage here early. Well, exactly what you want to do when you're on the road is get off to a good start. Now, Wright State's helped them out a little bit because they've turned it over twice. Here's Calvin. Got some space for a shot in the paint. Misses it. And on the rebound, we have an issue. I don't know if it's a clock situation. I think he called a foul. Wright State head coach Scott Nagy back on the bench here tonight. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's gone through uh, probably a very frustrating time being away from his team for a week and missing two games, first time in his career that that's happened. And, you know, that's happening to coaches around the country. You, you read every day where head coaches are, are being replaced by assistant coaches because of COVID. Here's Johnson into the corner. Skull ball for three. That one is short, picked up on a hop by Holden. Andrew Wellage checking in during that dead ball for the Raiders. Holden into the corner, gets the ball back from Calvin. Working against his defender in the paint. Goes up with the right hand, it rolls off, and the rebound out of bounds belongs to Wright State. You know, this happened to Wright State uh, just a week ago where they missed their first six or seven shots and got off to a, a bad start. And took them a while to regroup. They're getting decent shots. They've turned it over twice. Inbounds pass to Basili. Bouncing in against Battle, he's double teamed in the post, flips it out to Wellage, into the corner, Calvin for three. It's short, rebound Basili. Basili up strong with a right hand off the glass, puts it in. The first two points of the Raiders come with almost three minutes already used in this first half. That's probably an area where Wright State can do some damage tonight is inside with uh, offensive rebound. The ball nearly thrown away, but retrieved by a hail near midcourt. Here's Johnson with it, with 18 on the shot clock. Dribbles through the double team, picks up the loose ball. Now it's Griffin inside, running left-hander is no good, but Skoball has it, gets it back inside the battle, and he lays it in. That's good recognition and a great pass. I've just, they out-hustled Wright State for the loose ball there, but that was a great pass. It was a bounce pass, got by the Wright State defender, and an easy layup. Battle now with four, it's a 9-2 Flames advantage, 16-23 to play in the first. Raiders move the ball left side, Wellage lobs it inside to Basili. Vasily against Battle with 10 to shoot. Now he's double teamed, throws the ball out to Willage. Now Holden 
Takes it right side, baseline jumper, rattles in and out. And the rebound down to battle. UIC is not doubling uh, Grant uh, Basile on the pass. They're, they're waiting. As soon as he makes a dribble, then they double him. Johnson for three. That one's off the mark. Ball tipped out of bounds. Four to go in the first half. And the Flames on the road off to a seven-point advantage, nine to two. Yeah, shaking things up, Wright State. They're off to a, a bad start. They've won for seven from the field. They've gotten good shots. Uh, UIC's defense has kept the ball out of uh, Basile's hands inside. Basile's their second leading scorer. Wilburn has it now inside against Scoball. Underneath the basket, looking to pass it. Gets the ball out to Willage. It's knocked out of bounds by the Flames. Now, what uh, CJ did there, uh, he was very, very fortunate. He started his dribble, and then he picked his dribble up. And that's something you don't want to do because you're very susceptible to getting double teamed. And that's what happened there. And he was fortunate that he was able to get rid of it. Jace Carter into the game after that timeout. He's guarding Wellage right now with five to shoot. Gets it off to Finky. Finky, step back three, out long. He knocks it down as the shot clock expires. It's nine to five, UIC. That's a tough shot. I mean, he's up against the uh, shot clock, and uh, he had to use, utilize a step back because he was closely guarded. That was good defense. Just better offense. Boy, here's Carter taking it all the way to the basket. Griffin, I should say, with the left-hander off the glass for two. He answers. It's back to a six-point lead for the Flames. Uh, UIC's getting whatever they want. I mean, uh, Wright State's defense isn't... Uh, here's Wellage. He'll try a three-pointer. He can't get it to go. He tries to retrieve it in the corner. He comes up with it. And a fresh shot clock. Well, it just hit the side of the rim and bounced straight to the corner. And he was really the only person could go get it. Here's a pass over to Hull. And he takes it in with a two-hand jam between two flames and Tanner Holden, who surpassed 1,000 points as a Raider in the last game, tacks on his first two of the game here on a nice drive to the basket. Again, I mean, that's that's when a guy gets has the ball in the corner like that, you have to have a teammate make a cut. And Tanner, Tanner is extremely good at cutting away from the away from the action. I mean, he was on the other side of the court and made a cut to the basket and. and uh, Tim Fickey was able to see him and make a bounce pass. Griffin Yucklich, the coach's son, a six foot six sophomore guard out of Joliet, Illinois, checks into the Flames lineup as Holden cannot convert the three point play and the ball grabbed by Ahale. Four point lead for the Flames. Flames five of their first nine from the field. The Raiders three out of ten. Here's Johnson over to school ball. Dribble handoff to a hail going inside on Norris, and we have a traveling call, a turnover on UIC, and that is their first of this first half. They lead by four. Well, that was caused by a good, excellent defense on uh, Keaton Norris. I mean, when Jamie O'Hale came off that uh, ball screen and caught the ball, uh, Keaton was right there, and I think he kind of surprised uh, Jamie, and um, Jamie kind of slid his feet and got called for traveling. Jalen Johnson into the game for the Flames. Basili back in for Wilburn for Wright State. Here's Tanner Holden off the screen of Basile. Picks up his dribble, tosses it to Grant at the free throw line. Back to Norris. Looks left, picks up his dribble over to Holden. Boy, Flames putting a lot of pressure out front. Trying to get the ball inside to Finke. It's tipped away by the UIC defense. Now they're playing good defense. The UIC is doing a good job on defense, particularly inside. I mean, they've kept the ball out of Grant Basile's hands. When he has caught it, he's been... Uh, you know, 15, 16 feet away from the basket. He's not nearly as effective there as he is when he catches it in the paint. Seven on the shot clock. Calvin gets the inbounds pass. Taking the ball inside. Jump stop. Made away shot. Rolls around it in for Trey Calvin, who's been shooting over 50% from three and the floor since that trip to Florida earlier this season. Yeah, he got the nice roll there. He got into the lane again. That's what you want to do as a point guard is get into the lane. He got into the lane, and he got the good roll. His first two. Raiders trailing by two. There's a pass inside for the dunk, but Tanner Holden was there to steal the pass, and yeah. the Raiders come back with a yeah, deflection. Great, great recognition by Tanner Holden, no question about it. That was uh, that was going to be a lob dunk. Here's Finky, open for three. Right side, it's short off the rim, and a rebound school ball. Two-point lead for the Flames at 11-9. 13-18 to play in the first. Now it's Johnson. Taking Calvin inside, skull ball, straight on three. That's short on the rebound. It's holding. Up to Norris. Feeds it low post right side to Basile. One on one against skull ball. Rolls in. And he's double teamed. Waits the basketball for his second free throw and an opportunity to tie the game at 11 with 13.01 to play here in the first. And he does. He's got four. So the Raiders have come back after the Flames jumped out to a 7 0 lead. 
Here's Johnson with the basketball to Yaklich. Griffin hands it off to Carter. Freshman dribbling inside against Holden. Goes up with the right hand on the baseline, missed it. Rebound, it's loose on the baseline, goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Raiders. Yeah, Wright State was too anxious there. They had both uh, A.J. Braun and Grant Basile there, and the ball came off. I think they thought the ball was going to hit the rim and maybe bounce to them, but it, it was kind of like an air ball, and I think it surprised both of them. Neither one could grab it, and it went out of bounds off them. Inbounds patch to Lot Yaklich. Now it's Carter, just a freshman. Out high. And a traveling violation. Again, that was good defense. That's what prevented. He wanted to make a pass to the wing, and as he started to, to make the pass, Wright State uh, defensive player stepped in. I think it was Trey Calvin stepped in the passing lane, and he shuffled his feet. That was Marcus Larson turning the ball over for UIC. Tanner Holden is going to get a break with 12.32 to play here in the first, and Andrew Wellage back in, the sophomore from Indiana. He has the ball left side on the wing. Short pass to Braun. Braun looking back yeah, for and he traveled deal. with the basketball. That has the same deal at the other end. He wanted to make a he wanted to swing the ball to the other end. And you know, you anticipate the guy being open and, and you're shocked when he's not open because the defense steps in front and you can't stop your momentum and you end up uh, traveling. And that's uh, that's on both ends of the court. That's exactly what happened. Defense caused a turnover. Johnson with the dribble. Inside it goes, and the shot up and off the glass. I think that was Carter who will be credited with a basket. Yeah, good, strong move there. He came off of a curl uh, at the uh, foul line extended and, and just took it all the way to the basket. Nearly a steal as Calvin comes up with the ball. Well, one thing what UIC is doing is they're getting in the passing lane, and, and they're forcing Wright State out of their comfort zone. Here's Calvin with 15 to shoot. His three is good, deep from the left side, and that gives the Raiders their first lead of the game at 14 to 13. Yeah, he shot that uh, in rhythm there. That was just a nice rhythm jump shot by Trey Calvin. Lockledge. Here's Griffin for three, it's short. Rebound, Carter inside, had it blocked by Wellage, and Wellage comes up with a deflection. And oh, Calvin, tri double dribble. Losters on top, 14 to 13. UIC will put the ball in play in their backcourt and bring it up against the Raiders' defense. Here's Johnson protecting it against Norris. It's a screen from Griffin. Now Johnson with it on the baseline right. It's Kevin Johnson. Now to Larson. Holding on to it. Johnson inside. Little dipsy do goes up and under. Can't get it. Had his own rebound. Loses it, but it goes right into the hands of Larson, who gets the easy layup to give the Flames a one point lead. Well, that's out hustling again. That's just good hustle by UIC. Now, Grant didn't grab that ball. He had, a, he, he had it in his hands, but he didn't have a firm grip on it. And it got knocked loose and right into the UIC player's hands, and yep. he converted it. Flames playing an aggressive man to man defense here early. Well, they're getting in the passing lanes, which, uh, you know, you got to make an adjustment to that. And the right state's a couple of turnovers as a result. And it's Trey Calvin who has really been shooting well of late. Drops down his second three of the game and the Raiders on top by two. Well, he's a confident player right now uh, shooting the basketball. You can tell because th that's a that's a shot a lot of times during the season. He would have just passed up. And a traveling year. violation on Larson. Same situation. Wright State's getting in the passing lane too. You know, so much of what they want to do here is Trey Calvin's uh, hitting the three. Came, come off of a screen. The guy went behind the ball screen. Trey just pulled up and shot it. Both teams are getting into the passing lane, and when they try to reverse the ball from one side to the other, uh, they're anticipating the player being open, and he's not, and they've uh, shuffled their feet. It's happened to, to both teams. Holden looking inside. Now takes it with a dribble, leans in with a right nice and move. scoop off the glass. Tanner Holden with a deuce. He went to the opposite side there. He was on the left side, drove to the basket with the left hand, but went to the other side of the rim, shot it with his right hand. This is Johnson with it. Back out to Scoball. He hands it off to Griffin. Griffin works against the freshman Braun on the right lane line, double teamed out to Kevin Johnson. He's set for three, and he drilled it. Well, I, I don't understand why Trey Calvin went to double there. He, let, he went to double, and he left Johnson wide open. Uh, just not a real good, smart defensive play right there because uh, – this is Holden with it going inside against a Hale. Picks up his dribble, fires it out to Norris. Gets it down to the post to Braun. Braun working one-on-one -on -one against Griffin. Leans in, his shot no good, and the rebound. 
to Carter. Well, A.J. didn't have a good angle there. He couldn't use the glass. Now Carter is fouled out front by Keaton Norris, stops the clock. But 9-12 to play in the first half. The Raiders lead by one substitution. Tim Finke is back in for Wright State, and Vasily goes to the bench. I don't know about you, but it seems to me that Coach Nagy is substituting more freely in, in this game, running people in and out uh, a lot more than he has in the past. I mean, it's the same guys playing. It's just they're not playing extended minutes. Trey Calvin has and uh, Tanner Holden has, but. They have played eight players. Oh, there's Johnson inside slipping. He had the inbounds pass in school ball. This is really good with the basketball. He's had a couple nice passes tonight. Well, they took advantage of a right state defensive air there. Lost the, uh, you lost their man, was ball watching. Skip pass, left side, Norris sets up rainbow three. Got it. And Wright State jumps back out in front, 22 to 20. I think they called a flop. Against the Flames player, I so think it's a so. warning. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who they called it on. Maybe it was on Norris, and Norris fell down. He shot the ball and he fell down, and I think they might have called a flop on Norris. All right. He was just off balance. He wasn't trying to uh, I didn't see any contact. draw a foul. He just was off balance, lost his balance when he took the shot because it was kind of an awkward three. Raiders four for nine on threes here early, lead by two, 8.40 to play in the first. Here's Griffin, off to battle back into the game. Johnson now gets away from his defender. His three is off the mark. Finky the rebound. Calvin with it up the right sideline. Calvin trying to dribble by his man to Hale. Takes him into the paint. Beats it down low block to, to Braun. Braun working in his battle. Leans in off the yeah. glass. Scores two. See, that time he got a great angle. He took a little crawl dribble into the middle, then reversed to the baseline. He was able to use the glass. The previous time, he got caught too low, and he, had to, he didn't have that angle, and he missed the shot. That was just good footwork there by A.J. Braun. Here's Battle, picks up his dribble. Out front now to Johnson. Johnson out near the arc. Now inside to Battle. Battle goes in, and we have a win of 50%, 9 and 19. Yeah, Wright State missed six of their first seven shots. Now they've made eight of their last 12, so they've recovered from that uh, shaky start. Kevin Johnson averaging six assists a game. He's the floor leader for the Flames. This is Battle going in strong against Braun. Puts it up with the left hand. Nope, cleaned out of there by Basili. Well, A.J. did a decent job. He got by A.J., and then when he got to the rim, A.J. kept his hand straight up, didn't foul him, made it a difficult shot, and he missed it. Braun swings it over to Holden, lobs it inside to Basili against Battle. Goes in with the left hand and scores. A uh, quick step, got up around his man. Well, that's the deepest um, Grant's gotten in this game. He got deep, and the pass came in right away, and like you said, he made a nice quick move to the baseline. Johnson getting the screen from Battle. Runner with the right hand, rolls off the rim, no good. Braun the rebound. Oh, and he throws it away. A Hale steps in and steals the pass. Now it's Johnson. Back out to A Hale. Wide open three. It's off the front of the iron. No good. Tip. No good. And Basili grabs it. Well, that's not going to happen very often. A Hale missing a wide open jump shot. I mean, he was totally wide open on a nice skip pass. Boy, Calvin goes right around two defenders and lays it in off the glass for two. Trey Calvin playing with so much confidence. He's got ten. Well, he caught him. They, they hadn't they hadn't really gotten organized defensively there, and Trey took advantage of it. You know, A Hale. Anytime a, a player misses a three point shot, it's amazing amazing to me how many times at the other end it ends up in an easy shot. And that's what happened there. I mean, uh, a Hale missed a wide open three. Here's Griffin trying to thread the needle to a Hale on the baseline. And a Hale is pleading his case. I don't, the official here on the near sideline said it was off of UIC. Yeah, I don't think anybody touched that. And I don't really know. I mean, I can see a Hale making that pass, but I don't really know what. Uh, I think the cameraman got drilled down there. Uh, I don't know. I don't think the player, if he would have caught it, could have done anything with it. I mean, it was uh, he was kind of like in no man's land. Raiders by eight. Nasilli wants the ball inside against Scoball. Double team flips it over to Calvin. He's wide open for three. That one's missed. Nasilli had it. Ball tip goes out of bounds, and it goes back to UIC. 6.06 to play in the first, 28-20, right State. Dre was too wide open there, Chris. I mean, uh, the first threes he hit, uh, he was contested. That one, there was nobody near him. It was a good pass, and he was just a little off to the left. Yeah, he's two out of four from three. The Raiders four out of nine. Eight-point lead, but Kevin Johnson with a basketball. Floor director for UIC. Now battle. He hands it off to Griffin. Griffin back out to Johnson. Johnson. 
against Calvin. Spin move goes inside, flips it to his teammate, Battle, and it's blocked from behind by Basile, who comes up with the loose ball. That's great recovery by Grant. That was a really nice play. Basile for three, that's off the mark. Ball loose, picked up by Johnson on a hop. Skip pass into the corner to Griffin, catch and shoot three. He got it. That's good recognition there by, by I, I, I think it was the hail that made that pass. That was just great recognition because he was on the right side of the floor and he made a, a cross court pass to the deep to the left corner for the three. Here's Calvin with it, working against the taller player. 16 on the shot clock, throws it out front to Wellage, reverse it left side to Basili. Basili, a couple of bounces back to Calvin. Calvin going inside, fade away on the left. Lane line is good, Calvin with 12. And the Raiders lead 30 to 23. We're under five minutes to play in the first. Yeah, he's getting into the lane off the dribble. That's always something, you, you know, if you're UIC, you want to keep that player out of the lane. Don't let him get into the lane. Here's Griffin, close out by Holden. Couldn't get the three off. Griffin gets it back with 18 to shoot, now a hail. Johnson. Griffin shooting over Holden. Three short rebound. Finky. <laughs> Raiders will slow it down with four and a half to play here in the first. Leading by seven. Tanner Holden one on one against Griffin. Dribbling inside into the paint. Goes up and under with a right hand and scores. Well, they just did a clear out there. Tanner caught the ball on the uh, right side of the basket about 12 feet away and everybody just cleared out and he just backed his man down and it wasn't an easy shot, but that was not very good defense. Tanner's a heck of an offensive player, and to, to expose him one-on-one -on -one in that area is, is you're going to pay the price. Hold it with six. The Raiders lead by nine, their largest of the first half. Now it's Johnson at the right elbow. Skies up for the jump shot, knocks it down. He's got nine to lead the Flames. 32-25 Raiders, 344 to play in the first. Yeah, he did the same thing Trey did. He got into the lane. That was a tough shot, but... Uh, a good move, good offensive move. Here's Calvin, step back, they don't guard him. His three, too short. Underneath is Holden. Holden had a block from behind, but he's fouled. Sports 980 and ESPN Plus. 329 to go in the first. Tanner Holden at the line. Tanner now with six points here in the first half. He'll get two free throws. The first is good. Holden, another one of the Raiders, shooting the ball extremely well at the line. 80% coming into this game tonight. Well, Wright State all season long has shot free throws extremely well, better than they have in some time. I mean, uh, you know, in, in past years, uh, <laughs> Wright State has struggled to, to shoot above 75%. They've been consistently above 80% all season long. Here the right crowd. at 80%. Cheering a moment ago, the net was kind of clogged up and Grant Basile went in there and uh, cleaned it out for the officials. And Tanner Holden fills it up for the second free throw and the Raiders are up by nine. Nine point lead equals their highest of the first half. Hand off to Carter back into the game. Here's a hail. Step back three on the left wing is good. Yep, that's what he does. That was just, he, he gave him a little room. A little step back jump shot. The Raiders had done a good job on him <clears throat> the first uh, 15, 16 minutes of this game, but that was a, he had one really good look at the basket. Here's Holden to the bucket, goes underneath with the right hand on the left side and lays it in. Tanner Holden now a double digits. He's got 10, 250 to play in the first. Wright State with an eight point lead. UIC with a basketball. <laughs> Larson. UIC's you know, played, you know, played really well here in the first half, I think, uh, defensively and, and make key baskets. I think he's Latin. There's another basket right there. That's Johnson able to go inside on the left lane line on the block. Goes up a little floater with the left hand. I think, I think these last couple minutes are important for them. Stay, you know, don't, don't let Wright State get any momentum going into halftime. Here's Holden. Fadeaway jump shot, left elbow, wow. rattles it down, and Tanner Holden now taking off. Well, Tanner Holden with 14 po or 12 points. He's got that little mid-range jump shot. That He's very effective. Here's Johnson inside into the corner. Here's a three by Carter. It's good. Hey, UIC, is they're staying in contact. They're not letting Raiders, Wright State, um, I mean, Wright State's up seven points, or five points now, but I mean, uh, 
Here's Basili inside. He's double teamed. Throws the ball in the corner to Calvin. Fakes the three. Pull up jumper on the baseline is good. Teams trading baskets. Raiders now leading 40-33 with 137 to play in the first. Yeah, that's all they're doing here in the last couple minutes is trading baskets, but they're, uh, they're good offensive plays. Kevin Johnson getting the screen from Larson. Nearly lost it. Larson picks up the loose ball. He feeds it down inside to Johnson. Left-handed pass out to Kevin Johnson. Goes inside, slips through two defenders. The runner is no good. Calvin the rebound. Raiders three on two. Calvin slips it to Holden. He tried to dunk it, but he's fouled. Yeah, that would have been a pretty awesome dunk because he was going away from the basket. He came back with his left hand. Uh, that would have been <laughs> that would have been a pretty spectacular play there. Larson is called for the foul. That is his first, and the team's fourth here in the first half. And back to the free throw line will be Tanner Holden. Holden with 12 points. He's two of three at the line. Also three rebounds. Grant Baselli made a nice defensive play at the other end in traffic down there uh, to get that fast break started. Just a great defensive play. Holden's first free throw is short. Wright State shooting 50, 57% right now. They started the game one for seven, and uh, they made 15 of their last 27 shots. So Holden second free throw, missed that one also. Tried to overcompensate at the back of the rim and bounced out. So well, that was a waste of, I mean, that was a missed opportunity there because they had a fast break and a potential dunk and they get nothing out of it. Kevin Johnson has it. Got a minute to play here in the first half. 18 on the shot clock. Flames with the ball, trailing by seven. Kevin John Johnson off to a hail. Yeah, Johnson's done a really good job running their offense. He really has. Gets a screen right here. Throws it down low. I think he tried to get it to Larson. It goes out of bounds off the hand of Larson. You know, I shouldn't have said anything because that, <laughs> I mean, he's, he, he has. He's played very, very well. I've I been very impressed with him. He's very quick with the basketball. He's got three assists. That's his first turnover. 44 seconds to go in the first half. Raiders with a ball and leading by seven. Finke out to Basili. Short pass Wellage. Wellage dribbling to the free throw line out to Finke. 17 to shoot. Finke lost it for a moment. Gets it back to Wellage. UIC applying a lot of pressure on the perimeter, 10 to shoot. Tanner Holden getting a screen. Now he's double teamed. Throws the ball oh, over wide pass. open as well. It's nice pump fake. Goes up and scores. Good look from Holden. Raiders up by nine with 16 seconds to play in the first. The Jock out calling the play near midcourt. Johnson with the ball against Calvin. Six to shoot. Johnson one on one against Vasily. Fadeaway jump shot at the free throw line is good at the bus score. Yeah, Chris, and they've played very well. You know, given that uh, situation, I think they've played remarkably well. Here's Calvin with the basketball. Wright State with the first possession here in the second half. Now Holden picks up his dribble, throws it on the wing to Braun, left side, Pinky gets it inside. It's Basili. He's double teamed, throws the ball back out to Holden. 13 to shoot. Runner with a left hand is good for Tanner Holden. Ooh, Holden now with 14. It's a great pass by Grant Basili. Grant's going to have to to be patient tonight because they're doubling him. They're going to take away his scoring, but you know that's how you can counter that is to make those kind of passes. Boy, Scoball had a wide open three. He barely grazed the rim, but the Flames are able to get the rebound back. Here's a hail, leaves it down low for battle, leans in, his shot was deflected. Skullball got the rebound and put it back in with the left hand. Uh, right State had him boxed out, he just went right over the top of him. That was not a good possession for Wright State defensively. Great possession for UIC. Here's Trey Calvin with a dribble. Gets it back out to Silly. He'll launch a three and drain it. The Silly deep from the right gives the Raiders a 10-point lead. Well, if you can't get anything inside, go outside and hit the three. Now Johnson at the point. He leads the Flames in scoring. Averages 11 per game. He's got 11 right now. There's the ball stolen by Trey Calvin. Calvin one-on-one -on -one against Johnson. Takes him in with a dribble. Leans in with the right hand. Can't get it to go. Ball popped loose, but Calvin hustles, picks it up. That's great hustle by Trey Calvin. He was the only guy on the floor that knew where that ball went when it got knocked loose. The other players had their back turned to it. Vicky inside to Basili. Dribbling in. Here comes the double team. He wraps it around to Braun, who lays it in. Little two-man game between the big guys. Well, I, think, uh, I think Grant had eyes in the back of his head there. He, he, he must have got a glimpse of the the uh, UIC player that was coming to double because as soon as he came to double, he made the pass to uh, A.J. Braun. Raiders by a dozen. Here's Johnson. His jump shot no good from the elbow. Vasily cleans up the rebound. UIC's taking some quick shots here in the second half. 
you know, the first half, they were really patient. Tanner holding strong to the bucket. His right-hander missed it. He got the rebound. He's pushed from behind, and he'll have a chance for a three-point play. Now, Wright State's on the verge of taking control of this basketball game. They've come out. They've scored on all four of their possessions here to start the second half, including the three, and they got a chance for another three-point play. UIC scored on their first possession, but the last two possessions, uh, I think they've been a little quick shooting the basketball. So Holden will go to the free throw line. He's got 16 points to lead all scores. And it's good. He completes the three-point play. He's got 17. And the Raiders have jumped out to a 52-37 advantage. Yeah, I mean, an eight-point, uh, well, it's been a 10-2 run is what it's been. Here's a Hale dribbling into the paint, feeds it over to Griffin. His three is good. He was big wide basket. open in the corner. That's a big basket, but credit Jamie O'Hale. Uh, Hale. He's the one that really created that because he came off that screen uh, full go ahead and, and uh, got the Raiders to uh, uh, help on the uh, on the dribble drive. That left a guy open in the corner. Now it's holding to Basili. Feeds it inside to Holden, who puts it in. A little give and go right there. Well, Grant's doing a really good job countering this double team. He's doing a really good job. He's made them pay. You know, if they're going to double team, and then you need to make passes and, and, and uh, be a little bit more patient. He's done that. Raiders by 14, Holden with 19. Jace Carter into the game, wants to go one-on-one -on -one against Holden. Gets him into the paint. Short pass on the baseline to Scoble. Goal ball goes inside, travel. 16.48 to play in the second half. The Raiders have opened up a 14-point advantage. A.J. Braun is out, and looks like Norris checks in for Wright State. I don't know what Keaton Skull Norris. Ball thought he was going to do there. I mean, he was totally out of control for a big guy to put the ball on the floor like that and try to attack the basket from the three-point line. That's tough to do. Norris backdoor pass. Calvin reverse oh layup God. is good. What a what a Basile. Yeah, what a pass. I mean, now he's showing Harlem Globetrotter moves here in the second half. Skull ball. Flips it back out to Johnson. 56-40 right state. Johnson one-on-one -on -one against Basile into the paint. Fadeaway shot. Rolls around and in. Well, that's a tough yeah. one. Along with Jim Brown, Chris Collins back here at the Nutter Center. 56-42, Wright State. Raiders with the basketball as we come out of the timeout. Well, Wright State scored on all six possessions here in the second half. Basile inside. He just has his way with the defender right there. Larson couldn't do anything. Well, that time they didn't double him. I mean, that, they, they've been double teaming him once he put it on the floor. That time he caught it, one dribble and, and shot it. 58-42, Wright State by 16, their largest lead of the game. Carter inside against Holden. Went in with the elbow, seven at the half, had ballooned that lead to 16 with 15.50 to play. Along with Jim Brown, I'm Chris Collins. We welcome you back to Wright State's Nutter Center. Wright State with a possession. You know, what a change, Chris. The first half, Wright State was one for seven at the start of the game, and in the second half, they're seven for nine. They, they've been very, very, this is as good a, a five-minute or, you know, there's a foul on trying to guard Basile. Yeah, that's on Larson. This is a, as good a, a five-minute uh, session that Wright State's had offensively all season long. You can see here, they're not double-teaming Grant. They're letting him use that little crawl dribble, and you get, he'll get in there. If you don't foul him, he's going to score. Larson kept bumping him and got called for a foul. Three team fouls now. Lob it to Basile. Tried to put it in, but he's pushed from behind by Larson, who picks up another foul. So picked up two here in a few seconds. He's got three. That's team foul number four, and Basile in the act of shooting will get two. That's that little out-of-bounds play. The pass went behind Grant. They're looking to, you know, to catch and just lay it in. Uh, Grant, the pass was kind of cockeyed, and he was able to get a hand on it and shoot it, and he got pushed. He's going to shoot two free throws. And yeah, the first one is good. Grant Basile tonight with 12 points. Perfect three for three at the line. Also five rebounds. They've credited him with three assists. It seems like he has more than yeah, that. Yeah, well, he's had a bunch of them here in the second half. I mean, he's uh, he's been, I mean, one of those passes, oh, my goodness. I mean, he had eyes in the back of his head. I don't know how he saw A.J. Braun under the basket. I mean, it was a great, great pass. And the second free throw is good for the junior. Can't be, much, can't be much better than this. I mean, Wright State is six, eight. I mean, they're, they're like ridiculously efficient on offense right now. Griffin nearly lost the dribble out front, able to pick it up. Still time on the shot clock with 15. 18 points on eight possessions, Chris. 
18 points on it. That's almost, that's over two points of possession. Here's Griffin. Left-handed jumper is good from three. Griffin's got his second three of the game. 60-45 Raiders. We approach 15 minutes to play. Trey Calvin looking inside, gets it to Basile. Gets Larson, skip pass over to Norris. Norris back out to Finke. Reverse it right side to hold it. He gets it into the post, down low, right lane line. Basile against Larson. Goes up and under with the right hand off the glass for two. Well, Larson cannot guard him. I mean, he Not fouled one, one. him and couldn't, get, couldn't stop him. I mean, what you're allowed to get away with in the post sometimes. I mean, he had both arms on him when he caught the ball. You know, they let you play pretty physical basketball inside at the Division One level today. Larson, a long jump shot. He can't get it to go. And the rebound retrieved in the corner by Norris. You know, that's where uh, UIC is at a definite disadvantage here without having Diggins, because Diggins can guard. He, he, he's athletic. He's six foot eight. He can. Here's Holden going inside. Follow away jump shot off the front of the iron. Vasily offensive rebound. Oh, my goodness. Howard, I'm an official, but uh, I think that's a good call. Inbounds pass. Vasily flips the ball back out to Calvin. <coughs> Calvin back to Vasily. Left open from three. That's too strong. And the rebound is by Johnson. First possession. The right state hasn't scored in the second half. Jalen Johnson edged out by Vasily. They can think he down left lane line, flips the ball back out to Skullball. Back to Griffin for three. That one's too strong, and the rebound off to Calvin. 13.40 to play, 62-45, right state. Andrew Wellage back in, couple of dribbles out at the point. Short pass over to Norris. Norris back to Wellage on the wing, feeds it inside to Basile. Basile turn around for the double team, he puts it in. Oh my goodness, what it's a like shot. It's like right there. Well, they're coming from the weak side again, and he's used to it now. It's been happening all game, but it's still the gyrations he's had to do with his body to get the ball up to the basket. Kevin Johnson off the screen. Thought about the three. Scoble will take the three. No good. And a good rebound by Griffin hustling for it. Johnson gets it back. His three is good. Boy, Coach Nagy did not like that second opportunity. He's not real happy with his team not getting the defensive rebound. Well, in their defense, the ball hit the back of the rim and took a, a real long bounce out. Now, you still should be able to get that rebound, but... Uh, you know, when a three-point shot goes up and it's from a, that distance and it hits the back of the rim, it's going to pop out quite a distance, and that's what happened. 64-48 Raiders, 10 on the shot clock. Here's Norris with a dribble out front. Skip pass over to Wellich. He is wide open from three, yeah. and he drains it. So if you get to the elbow, you got a chance to get the rebound. Nine total fouls against the Flames tonight. The Raiders have only been called for two. It's been a clean game from the uh, foul situation. Early a steal by Norris against Johnson. Johnson controls. Now dribbling against Norris, takes him inside, flips it into the corner to Jalen Johnson. His three is short. Rebound by Norris, flips it up to Holden. He approached 12 minutes to play in the game, 67-48 right state. Holden double team, skip pass right corner, Wellich. Out inside to Groen, turn around off the glass for two. Well, that's just great basketball right there. You made a cross-court pass to the deep corner and then made a, a direct entry pass to the low post for an easy shot for A.J. Braun. That's just good offensive basketball and good recognition. Braun now with six, 69-48 right state by 21. It's hard to defend that. It really is. Inside, nice, nice pass from Skoball. He feeds it off to Yaklich, who gets the layup, 69-50 right state. 11.30 to play, Holden. Now Braun with it outside of the arc. Short pass to Wellage, right side line, Finky. Spin dribble, takes his man inside. Turn around, fade away jumper, got it. Yeah, that, was, that was all Tim Finky there. He never got a screen or anything. Showed his entire repertoire of footwork right there. A couple spin moves. Stella was a difficult shot, Chris. It was not an easy shot. 71 to 50. Five times already this season. Yeah, he's played very, very well. No question about it. He's done a, he's done a really good job. I mean, there's a lot of Raiders tonight that have played well at the offensive end. Of course, Coach Nagy wants to see him play defense. Underneath Jalen Johnson, nice pump fake, got the basket and a foul. Well, he got he got uh, he got Tanner off balance there, and uh, you know he kind of got in no man's land. You know we have some uh, potential future Wright State Raiders in the crowd tonight. The Beaver Creek Star sixth grade team, uh, <laughs> our guests of the Raiders tonight, they won a big tournament in Centerville. The Beaver Creek Stars is a youth youth age basketball program in Beaver Creek, a local community here, and. 
some of their uh, sixth graders had a, a big Christmas tournament win, and they're here tonight as the Raider guests. Jalen Johnson converts the three-point play. Underneath it's Wellage, pump fake, it's his man in the air. His book it won't go, but ball rolls off the rim, but he'll get two free throws. He's done a nice job with that, this sophomore out of Greensburg, Indiana. He, a lot of pump fakes. Well, exactly, and, and he has really come of age, I think. You know, you talk about Trey Calvin and how well he's been playing recently, but I, I've noticed a huge difference in Andrew Relich. I mean, he seems so much more comfortable out on the court. He's making things happen, and, and he's being rewarded with more minutes. I mean, there's no question. I think Coach Nagy has a lot of confidence in him, and he's playing him in critical situations. I thought he played really well in both games last week against uh, Milwaukee and Green Bay. Andrew Wellage, a sophomore, 6'6", 180, out of Greensburg, Indiana. Sometimes, uh, yeah. yeah, sometimes when you're a substitute, you get into the game and you, you just got to be perfect. You can't make a turnover, you can't miss a shot, whereas a starter, you know, starters have a little bit more leeway. You know, they can make a turnover, miss a shot, and they'll stay in the game. But sometimes a substitute doesn't have that that uh, privilege. Uh, but anyway, it's great to see, uh, it's great to see young players uh, get better and do a good job, and that's certainly the case with Andrew. Now, well, Wellich goes back to the bench. He's got seven. Grant Basile is back in for Wright State. Ten and a half minutes to play. 73-53, Wright State up by 20, and Jace Carter just lost the dribble. Looked like he lost his balance, and the ball bounced away from him, so a turnover for yeah, UIC. He extended that right arm. He could have been called for an offensive foul, but I think what happened was he extended it, and Tim Finke just gave him some room, and he, he lost his balance, and the ball went right out of bounds. I think you're right about him losing his balance. Now Calvin over to Braun. Well, dribbles on the wing, hands it off to Holden. Out to Basile. Looks inside, goes outside on the perimeter to Finke. Finke, hard dribble inside. Flips the ball back to Basile with 10 to shoot. Now Calvin. Yeah, great ball movement by Wright State. Calvin trying to create, leans in with a right hand. Too strong. Rebound Carter. Back come the Flames, trailing by 20 with 9.50 to play. Jalen Johnson now running the point. He'll give it up to Kevin Johnson. It's a screen. Johnson inside tries to draw contact. Little layup attempt is no good. But Braun came up with it, but it was stolen away by Carter. Back out, Kevin Johnson, wide open three, drains it. Three. Well, they've 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 had several they've had several opportunities like that where they've come up with a loose ball. Now AJ got his hands on that, but he didn't have a good strong grip on it, and, and uh, got knocked out of his hands. 73-56 Raiders with the ball. Third three of the game for Kevin Johnson. Now holding with it, 12 to shoot, off to Basile. And back door, he's still got the dribble. Taking battle inside, flips it out to Holden with five to shoot. Holden misses it. Now he picks it up, he'll fire it up. Two seconds, missed the three. Rebound, Johnson. Kevin Johnson works one-on-one -on -one against Finky. Step back three, missed it. Rebound loose and picked up off the floor by Holden. Yeah, that's the first questionable bad shot that he's taken. He's played very, very well. That was kind of like a forced shot. Now Finky over to Calvin. Calvin in the corner goes down the baseline. Flips the ball out to Trey. Now it's Holden. Holden for three. It's short rebound attempt inside, and a foul is called as A.J. Braun went for the offensive rebound, and he's fouled from behind. Stops the clock with 8.30 to play. 73-56 Raiders. It's a one and one, too. High State's in the one and one. One of the things that they've done well all year long is get to the free throw line. You know, they're uh, on the season. They've shot 201 free throws. Just to give you an example, UIC shot 77. I mean, Wright State shot 201 free throws going into this game. And you know, conversely, UIC, they played two less games, but still only 77 free throws. And that's a mark of a team that, that has a lot of movement in their offense and, and gets to the rim. And, and one of the things Wright State coaching staff has always uh, tried to do is shoot make more free throws than the other team shot. And they're close to that. They've made 100, and they've made 201, and their opponents have shot 207. And Braun will get the, the bonus as he knocks it down, his first free throw attempt of the night. He's got seven points and two rebounds. Coming back from COVID-19 protocol, A.J. Braun, he, along with coach Scott Nagy, out for the last two games, and assistant coach Travis Trice, and players Andy Neff, and Riley Boss. Second free throw is short. Rebound pulled down by UIC. Raiders by 18, clock running with 8.22 to play. Jalen Johnson, Scoball, his three-pointer is good. 
That's the 10th three-pointer tonight for UIC. Yeah, they've made that. That's been their offense, Chris. I mean, they they haven't been able to get much. Uh... Wow, what a move by Trey Calvin, and he's fouled. He was able to navigate his way through three defenders, switch from the right hand to the left hand, laid it in, and yeah, he was hacked. You see it here. Once he gets by the initial guy, there's not much, there's no shot blocker at the rim. That's we talked about that before the game. UIC doesn't really have a shot blocker at the rim. In fact, you know their tallest player in there right now is uh, Scoball, and, and uh, they list him at six foot seven. He's only a freshman, so. Trey Calvin at the line to complete the three-point lay. Play Trey with 18 points tonight. Once you get by your initial defender, you can go all the way to the rim, and that's what Trey did. And he is tied to Tanner Holden for a game high for the Raiders. Kevin Johnson has 19 to lead the Flames with under eight minutes to play. 77-59. Yeah, Wright State has three players with 17 points or more. Good Kevin defense Johnson there by Andrew. He makes two straight three-pointers. That's that's really the only thing that they have done well tonight offensively, uh, consistently, is shoot the three ball. I mean, they have shot, they're six for 10 here in the second half. They're 11 for 22 in the game. Tanner Holden against A. Hale. Backs in, double team, flips it over, and it's stolen by Johnson. Here's Johnson over to Griffin. Raiders by 15. Johnson to Scoball. Hands it off to Johnson. Steps into a three. It's off the front of the iron and he's yeah, and because of COVID. It's remarkable they're shooting the ball this well. I mean, they're really shooting the ball well, particularly from three-point drill. 11 for 22. Now, on the season, they only shoot 20, 29%. So, you know, they're well over their average. Raiders work the ball from side to side. Calvin leans it in to hold in. His runner rolls off the rim, but he's fouled. Pretty good coach. They moved from left to right. Holden had a little lane and took it in. And he got fouled. Well, Wright State's ball movement on offense tonight has uh, been really good. They've done a good job of moving the basketball. If there's, you know, any issues, is there a three-point defense? That hasn't been, uh, you know, that that's left some some issues. But uh, offensively, they've been pretty sharp, particularly here in the second half. Now they've not been as sharp in the free throw line as they've been most of the season. Tanner Holden tonight with his. I believe it's his fourth miss. He's three out of seven at the line. And that one good. 656 remaining, 78-62, Wright State. UIC working against the Wright State man-to-man. Yaklich, -man. middle of the floor. Scoble off the screen. Three is short. Rebound holding. Well, that was a that was a play for a three. I mean, he just uh, set a screen and then uh, reversed off of a curl move to shoot a three. Flames came into this game. Nearly half of their shots are three attempts, and they're pretty much on cue tonight. That ball was tipped and knocked out of bounds by the Flames. There's 16 on the shot clock. The Raiders will put it in play on the baseline. Yeah, I don't know who Tanner was throwing that ball to. The the guy that it was cutting was already out of the play, and and I and Tanner was a little late on the pass. He was fortunate that uh, UIC. Deflected it out of bounds. Raiders get it in bounds. It's Calvin double teamed out on the wing. Flips it over to Basili. Basili baseline drive, spin move. Takes his man inside. Double teamed. Had the ball knocked out of his hands and stolen. <laughs> Johnson. And Hale. Johnson from the corner. Got it. That's Jalen Johnson for three. That's a dozen three pointers tonight for the Flames, who now trail by only 13. We got plenty of time left, just under six minutes, and a steal. But Calvin comes up with a loose ball. Yeah, this has been a pretty amazing display of three point shooting. 12 for 24. That's Tim Finke throws the ball out to Calvin. Nine on the shot clock. Calvin looking to create. He steps back for three, and he can't get it. And the rebound to Scoble. And back come the Flames. Scoble off to Yaklich. Well, they're coming down here looking for threes. I mean, they're they're running offenses to get three-point shots rather than uh, you know try to get something inside. They're this is Griffin. Dribbling one-on-one -on -one against Basile, takes him inside, right-hand runner, nope, good. He's knocked to the floor, and he is fouled, and that's only the third team foul on the Raiders in the second half, 
And for Vasily, that is his first. UIC's, I mean, they're sticking with it. I mean, they got down 20 and they're sticking with it. They're running their offense, getting uh, getting into the lane, and then they've, they've hit a ton of three-point shots. I mean, uh, goodness gracious, they've done a good job there. Rebounds, Wright State's up 28 to 22. Uh, UIC has eight offensive rebounds. Wright State has nine. Turnovers have not been an issue tonight. Either team, I mean, uh, UIC has 10. Wright State only has seven. Griffin makes that first free throw. Zion Griffin, a junior forward transfer. He's from Chicago. Played initially at Iowa State. <clears throat> you know, always the question is, is when two teams shoot this well, Wright State shoots 60% and UIC's at 49%. Is it a good offense or bad defense? And it's a little bit of both tonight. I mean, uh, I don't think Wright State's three-point defense has been all that great. But, and uh, the lead is now only 11. Clock running with 5-10 to play. <coughs> Holden on the wing. Short pass over to Basili with 18 on the shot clock. Basili going inside with three defenders. He scored the basket and a foul. Yeah, he's had some difficult shots. I mean, he really has. He's, he's used to... Uh, all the offensive moves in his repertoire. He's got 19 with a chance to make it 20. Battle will check back in for Scoble. The help came a little late there. If the help would have come a little sooner, I think they could have done a better job defending Grant. But UIC's done a good job on Grant Vasily tonight. Now he's got 20 points, but they've really made life difficult for him, and, and he's made some great passes out of the double teams. And the Raiders miss another free throw. They're 12 of 18 tonight. 80-67, the lead at 13. Clock running with 4.50 to play. Jalen Johnson at the point. Battle now, middle of the floor to Yaklich. 13 to shoot. Here's a hail. Yaklich. Now Griffin. Griffin with five to shoot. Trying to find some space. He'll just fire one up in desperation and hit it. I think that's the third time tonight that they've shot a desperation three-point shot and made it. It's a 10-point lead with 4.20 to play. And the first uh, basket they made at the start of the game was a desperation three by uh, Scoball. 13 threes tonight for the Flames. Well, it's kept them in the game. There's no question about that. It's literally Holy pull kept them in jumper. the game. Free throw line, good. Tanner Holden now with 22. I mean, Wright State's offensively in the second half, they've scored 40 points on 25 possessions, but they haven't been able to... Uh, Yaklich reverse layup is good. They haven't been able to do anything to, to uh, derail UIC, because UIC's been just as good. They've had 37 on 25 possessions, so both teams are on fire offensively. Yeah, you like scoring. This is the game. Here's Basile against Battle. And it's tipped away and stolen by Griffin. Back on the Flames, catch, shoot, three, a hail. It's short, rebound, Hanner, Holden. And Holden will slow it down. The clock running with 3.15 to play. We have not taken the under four timeout. 82-72, Wright State. Holden at the point, flips it on the wing to Finke, right corner, Norris. Norris back to Finke, middle of the floor. Finky break it down to the defender. Goes inside with the right hand. Nope, got his own rebound. Knocked away foul. They've made 73 on the seat. I mean, they've made 90 on the season going into this game. Tim Finky out of the timeout. Knocks down two free throws. So the Raiders lead is a dozen. And the clock starts with 2.55 to play. But the proficiency with which they're making them is, is a much different. They're only shooting 29% on the season. They've shot 50 tonight. So Daley they've Johnson, a, Scoble. They've had a great night offensively from three-point range. 15 on the shot clock, looking to try to set up a three again. Now it's Johnson going one-on-one -on -one against Basili. Clears out, goes in with the right hand, scoop, no good. Rebound, thank you. That's a great job by Grant. He, uh, he made the shot difficult. Didn't foul, just extended his arm. Just made it a difficult shot. 2.24 to go, Wright State. Holden with it in the middle. Holden leading score with 22. Vasily and Calvin both with 19. Holden going inside. Leaner with the right hand is good. You can't give him space. He will take advantage of it and make you pay. I don't know what he did there. He faked a pass, and the ball went out of his hands, and it, it just, uh, he, he didn't double dribble. He didn't carry the ball, but it was a, uh, it just certainly faked out the uh, UIC player. 24 for Tanner Holden. Here's Griffin launching the three. It's off the rim and the rebound to Finky. 
We're under two minutes to play. Clock running with 148, 86-72, Wright State. <clears throat> Here's Keaton Norris with it, flips it over to Basili outside the arc. Short pass on the wing to Holden. Holden surveying the defense, and a foul is called on Griffin for reaching in. Stops the clock with 93 seconds to go, and Tanner Holden will go to the free throw line. Tanner, of course, tonight we found out Coach uh, playing with a heavy heart. His grandfather, his maternal grandfather, passed away from cancer. And uh, talking to his dad at halftime, Rodney Holden, outstanding player at Marshall, is telling me that uh, the funeral will be on Sunday. And uh, Tanner, in tribute to his, his grandfather, we saw in warm-ups tonight, his grandfather was an outstanding for 50 years, a drag racer, a dirt yeah. models, yeah. okay? And Tanner has a T-shirt on, and warm-ups uh, is an honor to his grandfather tonight. Yeah, I saw that, yep. And his second cool. free throw is good. Tanner holding a big night tonight, 26 points, 88-72, Wright State. He converts both free throws. Here's Zion Griffin. Griffin going in strong on Basile, and it's blocked by Grant. Ball goes out of bounds. Coach yeah. Joklich thought it was a foul, but well, it goes was, out of bounds, and he'll he stay was, with UIC. begging for a foul, but I don't think so. I mean, uh, that's all ball. That's at the top. Up. You can't really see at the top, but uh, there was no body contact there to speak of. Devin Johnson, quiet the second half, sizing up Norris on the baseline, threw it away. Finky stepped in and stole it. Good anticipation by Tim Fay. Has great defense by uh, Keaton Norris. He tried to drive baseline. Keaton took that away from him. He couldn't go any further, and he reversed and thought he was going to have an open pass, and Tim Finke what thought otherwise. He's into Basile, patient, and lays it right in. And the defender came over. He saw him, just waited, and got the easy bucket. 90 to 72, Wright State. Basile with 21. There's a ball stolen by Basile over to Finke. 51 seconds remaining. Crowd anticipating the win here tonight. Now Basile outside the arc, got Tanner Holden. Holden dribble drive down the baseline, throws it all the way out to Norris, 14 on the shot clock. Back to Holden, 10 on the shot clock. Holden off the dribble between the legs on the baseline. Flips the ball out to Calvin. Calvin takes the ball inside, runner with the right hand, nope. As the shot clock expires, it's tipped around. Loose, a hail, knocked it off of Holden, but right to Finke, he tries to go up. Nope, Holden had it blocked. And less flurry of action and picked up by Griffin. 11 seconds remaining. I don't think the, uh, I don't think there was a foul there either. I think that was good officiating. Here's Zion Griffin with five seconds, step back three on the right wing. Rattles out, rebound for Holden. He'll